Hello, beautiful people. I'm Karen Zingbeal, and I, this is a sales. This is going to be a sales vlog today, because boy, am I in a mood today with, you know, I go online, and I see all this negativity about what people aren't doing, how they're not getting their share, how their other people are getting what they think is due to them, and they're lucky. Yeah. I'm sure there are lucky people. We all get lucky every once in a while, but you don't make a career and a living on being lucky. Sorry, even the rabbit who sacrificed his foot wasn't lucky. I had a cat named Lucky once. He jumped in our house. He was starving in the middle of winter one time, and he lived for about a year. He was the nicest cat. He must have been somebody's. But even Lucky left and went down on the highway and got run over. Sometimes you get run over. Sometimes you don't recover. Sometimes the recovery period is a long time. You got to just keep going. I'm just, it's January the 24th. I've got a possession today. Now people out in my area where I sell are like, oh, nothing sells in the middle of winter. We should take it off. Oh really? Well, I have a possession today on something I listed after what we consider season is over, which was late in the fall, late in the fall, I think. I think I listed in like September, October. I got my first offer within three weeks and then we got a second offer and now it takes possession today in the middle of winter. So, no people, it happens, you just gotta be hustle. But I can tell you that the people that are telling you things don't sell, they're right. Probably not selling for them. <laughs> That's the probably 100% accurate statement. Um, I've got three listings I'm working on. I just did a reduction on a property in Sycamus. I swear to God, people are sleeping on so hard right now. It's amazing. And, yeah, I, I'm just I'm just dumbfounded because because I'm dumbfounded. I'm I'm always dumbfounded with the dumb things that people say. Like there's a thing saying, you can't fix stupid. You can't. <laughs> Not that they're all stupid. Sometimes they just don't know better. That let's just go. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They're just not out hustling and grinding and they just don't know better. Here's the thing. I've been doing this 24 years. If I want to sell houses from my living room or from Victoria, I can. You know why? Because I still do the same work no matter whether I'm at my home office, my office office, or at my Victoria office. Like that's the way it is. I'm working. If there's business to be had, I'm out here working. So if you're making excuses for yourself, if you're making excuses why things aren't happening to you, maybe you need to look inside to you and think, what are you doing? Are you persistent? Are you consistent? Are you hustling? Are you just making excuses? What's your mindset say about you? Where are you? What's going on? Like, there's so much more deeper to this than, oh, you know, they're lucky. It's just not happening for me. Like, I do everything. No, you're not doing everything or you'd be doing business. I'm sorry. And that's a Canadian way of saying you don't want to hear this, but I'm really not sorry. You need to get off your L, A, yes, S, and go out and get it. Seize the moment, seize the opportunities, create the business. It's it's not getting handed to you people. No people, it's not getting handed to you. It doesn't get handed to me, it doesn't get handed to that person, it doesn't get handed. They're out there grinding in the most miserable weather, when they don't feel like going out, when they don't feel like working on a day, they're still doing it. Cause that's, it's your job. That's how you make money. So if you're a salesperson, take this to heart. I've been a salesperson my whole life. Even when I was a bartender, I was hustling and selling drinks and getting tips on my attitude. Just remember that. If you're out there doing a job, no matter what it is, if you're in a retail store and you're working at the cosmetic counter at Shoppers Drug Mart, your attitude makes a difference. If you are good to those people, if you get recommendations from those people, if people acknowledge your work, whether they be other employees or customers, you're going to advance. I don't care what job you're doing. If you're picking up garbage for a living, 
it matters. And the garbage men that are picking it up for a living will tell you it matters. They get the promotions. They get the advancements. They get the accolades. They get the bonuses. I mean, I don't personally know these people because we don't have garbage service in our area. I'm the garbage person. I take it to the dump. But I know life and I know how it works. And you give, you get back. You give you get back. It is that simple. The sales cycle is not as difficult as people make it. Okay, I got to go to work because like I said, I got work to do because like other people that are telling you there's nothing going on out here, there's stuff going on out here. I'm Karen Singbeal. Thanks for stopping in guys. Click to subscribe. And like I said, it's the middle of January. Got a possession. Things are happening. They're not happening for everybody, but they're happening. Take care, guys. That's the windshield wipers, by the way. I'm not making gross noises, just so you know.